Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. A new month is here and of course we have new apps to share with you guys like this one right here called Game Widgets. Now this app will let you know everything there is to know about upcoming games. So if you're a gaming fan, you want to know when the new games are coming out or just follow any release you want, you can use this app. Now the main focus on this app will be the widgets. As you can see right here, we have a couple examples here, a small one where you can just place any game you want and you will see basically a countdown of the days until that game is released. So you go here and you pick any of the games from your favorites that you choose on the app. Then you will have this calendar one, which actually shows you the calendar and you will see on the day there, the cover of the game that will be released that day. Now going into the app, you will see here the game all the details this is the home screen of the app we will see your favorites here you will see the new releases that will happen in the upcoming days and then the upcoming games right here now what you can do is also go to the search there where you can search for any of your games that you want and of course once you find a game that you like or you want to follow all you have to do is go here tap right there on the favorite and then you can see all the countdowns right here on your home screen next up is a really interesting new app called web roulette now of course daily we browse the internet and we have our favorite websites that we basically just visit every day for like different information like for example here mac rumors for tech i follow this website on twitter and everywhere and I look at it every day. But this web, this app actually will make this a bit more interesting. So you will have your favorite websites that you can add here. You go there, you can choose any website here from the suggestions, or you can go ahead and add any website you want. So when you go to browse your favorite websites, all you have to do is just swipe like this. And it will basically show you all the websites that you have added there. But what you can do with this app, which is really fun, is that you can actually just shake the device like this and it will just show you a random website which will make it really interesting. So every time you shake your device, it suggests a new website where you can find all kinds of different cool stuff, which is really, really cool. And of course, it will make your browsing experience a bit more fun. The next app for the video is called Find. Now this allows you to find your photos. Of course, you can do that with the stock photos app of iOS, but this one is way better. So you can just browse your photos and you can search based on colors, based on objects that are on the photo, or just based on text like this right here. Now what's really, really cool is that you can find those photos, of course. Anytime you want from here, you can add a hashtag to them, of course. If you want to have tags so you can easier classify your photos, you can share it from here, delete it, or just view the information. Or what you can do is go to albums right here. And with the albums, what it will do is that it allows you to create a smart albums. Now when you create a smart album, you can just have the plus button right there add a smart album and here it allows you to just put any filters you want and based on those filters it will actually create a smart album so i can add a filter here so i can just choose maybe a date so just like that i can choose any date i want and it will create a smart album just with photos from that date or that date range and of course that will also be saved on your camera roll as of course an album and then right here you will have different filters and of course the settings are right there next up is clear wave anytime you have your iphone and you're in contact with water water might get in the speakers of your iphone well this this app actually will help you clear the speakers out of water so you just tap here and it starts playing that sound which will just blow away the the water from your speakers and right here we'll have also a decibel meter which you can basically use to actually measure the sound on the environment you're in and then you will have different tones here that you can start playing like this one of course you can set it right here and start playing pretty fun and then you will also have here stereo which allows you to just check the stereo sound of your device so if you want to test out the speakers you tap on start and it will start testing the speakers and see if both are working. 
All Trails is the next app for the video. Now this is a really useful app that will allow you to find all kinds of different trails based on your location or just on any city that you choose. So you can see right here we have New York City and we have here 198 trails and of course you can go ahead and just browse them from there or you can choose the activity. So let's say we want to go hiking, we can select that and you can see the trails from there. Pretty cool, you can have it right here on the map or just view the pictures here and of course show them on the map and you can save any one of them. And it has an amazing community here where you can see all like the different trails that have been posted by different people, which is really, really cool. Of course, you can use it to navigate while trailing from here. You will have your distance, you will have your time and everything you need to basically just guide you and actually also just track your hiking or whatever you're doing. And then you will have your saved trails right here so you can go ahead and easier find any trail that you need. Memory Clean 2 is the next app for the video. This is an app that allows you to clean the RAM memory of your device and it does work. It's a simple, it's a simple app, very easy to use. This is all the interface that you will get. You will have quick clean and deep clean right here. Here it shows the free RAM memory of your device and all the other information right here. Now when clearing the RAM memory of your device, it won't make your device run faster because iOS has a great way to manage the RAM memory. But if you have an app that's maybe stock or it's not loading as it should, you can clean it from the RAM memory and that way you will actually restart the app and of course make it work. So you tap right here, you wait for that to finish and you will get some more clean RAM memory, you can see right there, plus 229 megabytes of free RAM memory. Next up is an app called GIF that allows you to create GIF files from your videos or from any web video. So it works as an, as an extension on Safari or you can use the app. So it's very, very cool the way it works. So you can load a video from your camera roll so once you choose the video, of course, you maybe don't want to make the complete video into a GIF. You can start playing the video and then you will have the GIF button right there. You can tap to start recording the GIF file. And once it's done right there, you can go ahead and save this image into your camera roll. So just like that, from any part of a video that you have, you can just record a GIF file as easy as that. Reverse Image Search is a new app that allows you to search for images from your camera roll or from your camera. So you can take a picture of an object or something and you can search that on Google. Or you can use text, voice, or the history right there. So let's just load an image from the gallery here. Now the cool thing about this is that it uses different search engines which you can switch between them very easily. So choose the image, tap right there on that icon and you can choose the search image, the search engine right here. So it will have Google, Yandex and Bing as well. You tap on continue to use whichever one you want and then you go here and you will get the results. So it will basically search the internet for the image that you upload. The next app for the video is called On This Day. Now this is a cool app that offers home screen widgets which will show you photos from years before today. So you can see June 1st, this is a photo from June last year. Now the way it works, you can go ahead and just 3D touch right there on the widget and you can pick here from which years you want to see the photo. So if you just want to select one year, you can select it here or you can basically deselect that and it will show different photos from the same day from different years and you can choose also to see only your favorites. So right here, as you can see, you go into the app and there is basically nothing. All you will have here is the same image. So it just uses the widgets to just display some of your best photos from the last years. And last but not least is Pixie, a new wallpaper app, which offers really high quality wallpapers for your device. Now this is the home screen where you will see all kinds of different new wallpapers and you will see right here, we have different categories. So we'll have the popular categories right there. Then you will have a few different categories, which of course you can go ahead and just browse here, tab there, and it shows all the different wallpapers from that category. Now this one right here that I have on the home screen, this is from this app and it's actually very, very cool. Now going back here, if you want to save one of the wallpapers, you tab there, you can preview it, how it looks on your device, course home screen and lock screen you can favorite it here and if you want to download it you will have that button to easily save it on your camera roll so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to download any of these apps make sure to check out the pinned comment all the links will be there thank you guys for watching the video and i will see you on the next one